or Spring Mount, and members of the Park Board will be attending the EAC February 23rd meeting to discuss collaboration
Well, yeah, that's why I thought if, if, if the reaching out, which has been done in the past, doesn't work, maybe just like the citation sure. say no drops, not with the weight, right. but if it continues. And, and I would agree, we would start. And that, yeah, you know, honestly, that's what we try to do. We, start, we try to start small and then yeah. escalate up if necessary. So, um, but to answer your question, if we get into weight pull after groups and maybe do that, but we can do that. Thank you. Just real quick, Scott, do you know what the company's name is? Uh, the concrete company? Yeah, my father in law, he's home all day. Can you shoot me that at the. He sees him coming out with the business now. Because I'm going to, depending on if it's work or if it's. Nature, but 
these guys have been trying to break every possible rule they can. So, so are you are you suggesting then that we call each of those two suppliers and let their dispatcher or what controls that know that going on twenty credit is not that's not what we want to have happen. If you want to have our manager do that, I mean that's a good idea. If you want to wait and uh, you know find them for doing it and collect the money, then do it that way. But I mean, yeah, they don't want the road. Road is in bad condition. Uh, the road is slated for this year for some kind of paving to be done on the road. So you know, before we go and do that, there's a lot of other things that need to be done. Personally, I feel like if we can make a phone call and let them be aware of it and do take the steps. You know, as, as a grown-up, take the steps, let them know what what we don't want to have happen, and if that situation continues beyond that, then I think we start talking about, you know, more of an enforcement of penalty. Sure. Um, you know, maybe a phone call is enough. And, and maybe in that phone call, let them know we have to police for us. Yep. Larry. Yeah, Larry Cohen, Mine Hill Road. While we're on the subject of trucks, um, on the same day as the incident, I uh, wanted to make sure that the board is aware that a Mascaro garbage truck did pull down the wires uh, roughly around 109 uh, Gerloff Road. Uh, Terry Sachs uh, came upon it a few minutes after I did, and just I observed the truck uh, that had just passed when it when the after the uh, just before that I noticed the wires were down. So just make sure that the I want to make sure that the board is aware of that. Thank you. Any other particular up to do? New business, any other new business? And we're up to public comment. Can we, is it a public comment? Well, it's public comment, it's new business, and it's old business. Let's call it public comment. Okay. <clears throat> the old business part, uh, at the last, last week's um, board session, we heard a presentation uh, concerning the possible acquisition or looking into the acquisition of another piece of open space for the township. And uh, but as we discussed that, we, we talked about uh, where the money would come from. Uh, if we can get money from grants, we'd still have the need to come up with money for other things like surveys and um, appraisal, things like that. And we don't have any open space fund in place. Uh, overall business, last year we thought uh, for a pretty long time on that topic, we had, uh, you know, big heated discussions in here that I don't want to start again tonight. But we had people that um, were for and against having an open space pact. Um, during those discussions, it's, it, it seemed to me, uh, and I went back and reviewed some of the minutes and and looked at it and look at some of the comments. Even the, a lot of the people that were negative on allowing the residents to vote on whether they wanted an open space tax, even the, the people that were against that seemed to be good with the idea of having an open space fund the money that we would get from donations or anything like that into. And um, I think it would be a really good idea to consider doing that, to, to at least get <coughs> a, an account and a fund started. And obviously we don't have um, you know, a tax source to fund it with, but we do have people spoke of possibly donating money to it. Uh, just just in, the, in the situation where we might need a few thousand dollars to just get a ball rolling on something like that. Um, so I'd like to ask the board to consider adopting such a ordinance to have fun. And uh, second, I'd like to put out a, another suggestion on how to fund it. Because we weren't able to get a referendum on the ballot for to, to have the residents vote on whether we were to have a tax, what about if when our tax bills go out, we had a check-off box so that people could voluntarily donate money that would be earmarked for an open space fund. Is that possible? You mean you're talking about what our 
consumer bills go out or when the, the, when the tax bill, but when Josh says the tax bill goes out, right? I'd have to look. There's a provision that concerns open space accounts, that, so I'd want to look at that. But the general idea of uh, <coughs> we want to even call it soliciting, but allowing for a box to be checked off and a secondary check to be sent over to the township is possible. Now, who, who uh, sends out the township bills? Josh and Bruce. And those are the pipes that are, you know, they're sealed and you tear off an edge and then So I guess it's all computer generated. I don't know whether you could have an extra box there to check off for five dollars or whatever you want. So like when you do your IRS stuff, you try to check off a dollar and don't make things. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Money in open 
it's based on who we use for, because that's already been articulated by the law. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, we don't have to be Quick and easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that way, too, if for some reason there was an open space fund done through a tax, yeah. you had it all, you had it all in one, yeah. otherwise you'd have to keep two separate pots.